The season's over, Bursa Spore survive, and we've decided what we're going to do next. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Journeyman. Hope you're well. I'm Tony, as you know, and in this video we are going to announce our plans. As the season draws to a close with Bursa Spore, we finished in a record high of 10th, but the question was, have we taken the club as far as we can? Is a new challenge what we need? Well, you know what? We've made a decision and this is what we decided to do. We've actually taken the job at Fernabache. Now, um, I wasn't adverse to staying at Bursa Sport, I must admit. I did quite become happy there. We've been there for three seasons, but I was starting to think that maybe uh, 10th was sort of our glass ceiling. We're going to take a long time to start looking towards uh, moving up towards those European spots. Fernabache, really interesting club, to be honest. Obviously, one of the big teams in Turkey, so we are full of expectations now that we're going to go from being uh, battling relegation to now having to start challenging for the Champions League and the league title. Um, you, you couldn't go any other way, to be honest. I mean, let's just say there, media prediction first. So the pressure is on. I feel as though it's a good step, to be honest. I feel as though it's a good step. We were talking about wanting to maybe manage a team in Europe. We looked at other options around. Uh, we loaded up leagues in South America. But you know what? A job came up in Turkey, I was more than happy, it would have to be one of the top clubs and Fenerbahce came in, they've just uh, had a bit of a restructure financially so there's a lot of money to spend. Uh, as you can see here, they basically want us to try and work with the best youth system in the country and challenge for the Super League. So this is official, we have started our job and we need to have a quick little look at the, uh, the squad then because despite playing against Fenerbahce a couple of times. There's not a lot of players I know uh, particularly well. Uh, Altai looks like a pretty good goalkeeper, but even then, look, already looking at the wages, 53 grand a week for a goalkeeper. We didn't have that at Sport. Very excited to see how Eden Kartsev plays. Uh, his really midfielder looks like he's going to be the heartbeat of the team. Creative midfielder, probably playing that Mazala role, I reckon. And alongside him, a player who I who I am aware of, he's tormented us in the past, Alexis Trullier. Looking forward to seeing this guy play. And this guy looks very, very exciting. Uh, Alpa Slan, the striker. Um, very exciting. 20 years old, 27 goals and 100 appearances already for Fenerbahce. So, um, could he be the new Anis? Maybe. He is a wonder kid, so there is a lot of pressure on this guy. But yeah... I think we've definitely made a step up already, haven't we? Selchuk, another man who really looks a talent, to be honest. Another 21-year-old. I'm noticing young players, young players in this squad, all of high abilities. And Farouk, 19 years old, probably a wonder kid, to be honest. Looking at that already, £8 million already wanted by some top clubs around Europe. Um, he, is, he is a wonder kid. This is... I'm, I'm very excited now. Very, very excited. And finally up top, Chihan, 19 years old, and another young kid. 16 dribbling, 16 composure, balance, agility. He looks like a bright player. Pace 16 as well. Another wonder kid. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. We talked before about expectations and pressure. Here we are then. We are expected to win the league. That's confirmed. Nine to four favourites. We are ahead of the main contenders, Galatasaray, Trabzonspor, Vishistas. We are the team to beat, according to the uh, according to the bookmakers. And understandably so. Look at that. Look at that. we've got. Basically, we have the front line in the team of the year. We've got two midfielders, two wingers, and a striker out of the top five, and the goalkeeper as well. There's no Bursa Sport players in there at all, sadly. Bursa Sport, however, uh, expected to finish 15, 250 to 1, whereas we are 9 to 4 to win the title. We start the season with a match against Samsung Sport. We travel for our first game, so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on. I do have a plan in mind. We have started to add to the squad. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing how Fernabache play. But before we do that, let's have a little look at who we've brought in. So we've brought in this guy, uh, Muamba. Very, very cheap sign-in. Brought him in, French defender. Thought we need a little bit of more steel in defence. So in he comes, 24 years of age. Should be a decent acquisition. 
This fella I recognised when I was at Bursa Sport. Tried to get him in, we couldn't get him unfortunately. He went to Man City, so we brought him in on loan. It does say he's a left back, but I'm probably going to play him slightly more in the defensive midfield role. Maybe as an anchor man, maybe as a half back. We shall see. Another man we brought over from England, Erkan Topal, uh, he formerly of Arsenal. Uh, we're trying to get as many Turks in the side as we can do. So again, another young player. In he comes, looks a decent player to be honest, got lots of potential. So he comes into the potential back line and a man that we're hoping will turn out pretty good. Six foot four as well, he's a monster. And he's probably gonna partner this guy. Daniel Simao, Cameroonian, 25 years old, signed from Chelsea, 10 million pounds. We never had that sort of money at Bursa Sport. 10 million pounds on a centre back. 18 concentration, 18 acceleration, 18 balance, 16 pace. He should be pretty decent. Six foot one, heading of 14, 15 jumping reach. A midfield, we've added in Haluk Oshkan. He's come from Standard Liège. 18 for passing, 18 for concentration. Vision's high as well, determination is high. And again, 21 years old, and more importantly, Turkish. So I guess in terms of a tactic then, this is what I'm thinking, okay? Something slightly different. I've not really played this sort of system before, but I figure three at the back, I'm gonna go with a half back. Ali Rizzo, as I say, is gonna go in the half back role, uh, not at left back. I'm gonna play with an inverted winger in Selchuk. Uh, Trulier is gonna be my deep line playmaker. Kartsev is a Mazala. Farouk is a wide playmaker out on the side. Chihan will be a defense, deep line forward. And Alpa Slan will be up top as an attacking forward. We're gonna be a positive mentality. We'll probably go attacking, I reckon. Lots of passing, pass the ball into space, play the ball at the box. High tempo, very, very expressive and I'm looking to play on the front foot. So high line of engagement and a high defensive line. I want this team to press and I want this team to score goals. This is the first time we're gonna see the team play. This is the lineup, Altai in goal, Ali Rizza, Simao, Selchuk, Yilmaz, Alexis Trulier, Mario Mara, Eden Kartsev, Farouk, Alperslan and Chihan up top. We wanna to go off to a winning start. It would have been nice to have had a home tie at first in our first league game, but you know what? That's not a problem. Let's go on our travels, get three points in the bag. There's the system. As I say, 3-1-4-2. It's going to be an interesting system. It's going to be an interesting season. I'm very much looking forward to it. Hopefully, hopefully we can get off to a winning start. As the cameras pan around. We're in our yellow and blue striped shirt, Samson Spore, the hosts, all in white. And as we come out now, Chihan charging away, loads of space to run into, Alpa Slan gets to the byline, cuts it back, saved by the keeper. Free kick now, Trulier whips it in, headed away unfortunately, and now Anil's got so much room to run into. In fact, actually we're under a bit of pressure now as the counter attack stands him up, lovely tackle by Ali Rizza, and it's away. Hopefully, we can clear our lines again. Samao with a header. Burke picks the ball up. Good cross in. Nicely blocked, and Altai picks the ball up. Kamal now. Inside. Good ball. And I think we're just about holding up with this three at the back system. Nice header. Altai with the save. Clears it up top. It's booted away again. Now Kartsev, lovely ball, Alpa slams on the way through, what can he do, holds the ball up, cuts it back, Kartsev, bit of a daisy cutter, easy save. Simao, Ali Rizza, just keeping possession of the football, Mira launches it forward, Chihan doesn't win the header, needs to do a little bit better up top I reckon, good ball in behind the defender, and it'll just go wide. Altai with a goal kick. Simao moves the ball forward. Kartsev out to Selchuk. Takes it down nicely. He's away from the fullback. Selchuk blocked by the defender, but cleared out for a corner. Keeping that pressure on. Trulier whips it in. Headed away, unfortunately. Not massively uh, exciting first half, I must admit. There's not been a great amount of chances. Hopefully, we can change that up fairly shortly. Selchuk, can't save. We're just knocking the ball on nicely. Ali Rizza, lovely ball in. Alpa Slan, he's got to finish it. He's got to finish it. Flags off for offside, actually. So we'll let him off for that, I guess. 
Now we're under pressure at the other end. Chihan picks the ball up. We're on a break. Away he goes. Alpaslan, lovely ball out. Selchuk, straight at the keeper. Nice counter attack though. Here's Kartsev. Alpaslan, Chihan, out to Farouk. Goes to ground. Good tackle, is it? They're going to VAR. He's already on a booking as well, this guy. I thought he got the ball, actually. They're checking. They're checking. What's it going to be? Is that a penalty? I think he's waved his arm saying it's not. Actually, no. Is he? No, he's off to, he's off, is he off to book him. It's a penalty. He's going to be off then. He's going to be off as well. Oh, he's gone. Red card. Penalty. Sheehan saved. Oh, come on. Like, really? Of all the, look, the flares are out, right? The home fans are unhappy about this. Two yellow cards for Kane. Second yellow card, he's gone off. Selchuk charging for wins a corner. I can't believe we missed that penalty. Sheehan, like, could have done it. Could have put us in the lead. Nice ball in. Mira heads over the top. And we go in at half time, nil nil, but a man up. It's 11 v 10. Fairly even match so far, I think. So we've made a change. Mwamba's come on for Samao, and we've actually gone for probably slightly more of a 4 4 2, I think, in this second half. We've moved uh, Farouk and Selchuk up to attacking wingers, so it's almost like a sort of 4 2 4, I guess. Um, but in the traditional sense, it'd be a 4 4 2. Selchuk now with the ball. Yilmat. Selchuk charging forward. What's he going to do? Holds the ball up. Ali Rizza. Great ball in. Alpa Slan. It's over the top. Ball's cleared away now. Anil's got the better of Mira by the looks of it there. Yilmat has gone with the tackle. And is that going to be a penalty? <laughs> Don't tell us we've conceded a penalty and we've missed the first. We've missed ours. Are they going to get a penalty now? Just waiting, just waiting. No penalty. No penalty. Close. Very, very close indeed. Burke now clears all. Uh, Ali Reza is the man who picks it up. He's actually played the ball with no one, to be honest. Selchuk now charging forward up against the defender. Gets the byline, cuts it back. Truly, 1 0. 1 0 Fernabache. And it's the man I said at the start of the video, I've seen him tear Bursa Spore apart when I was Bursa Spore manager. I was very excited to see how he plays Selchuk. Look at this, gives the defender a torrid time, gets the byline, cuts it back. Trulier just tucks it past the goalkeeper, nice and low. 1-0 Fenerbahce. And this is us, hopefully, on our way to our first three points. Oh, great save, Alpaslan, 2-0. That's what we're talking about. Ali Rizza technically gets the assist. Great stop by the goalkeeper. Mira with a throw in here. Farouk knocks it back to Mira. Pings it. Ali Rizza with a great shot. Good save. Unfortunately, can't get back up. Alvaslan tucks it in. 2-0. That's much more like it. I mean, he's offside at first when the first shot's taken. Gets himself back onside. And then tucks the ball into the net. 10 minutes to go now. 2 0 up. Trulier, good boy, and cleared away. Trulier again. Kartzev, Chihan knocked in. Alpaslan not really watching it, to be honest. He should have been in for a third there. And now Samson Spore try to come back. Bar. In fact, they're just slowing the possession down now. In fact, we've intercepted. Here's Alpaslan. He's away. Selchuk plays in Chihan. Goes to the side, puts it wide. Yilmaz knocks it up to Selchuk great ball in Alpaslan he's finished it it's three is it three no is he offside I think he's offside isn't he I think the flag's going to go up disallowed disallowed we were trying to make a change as well Katuchu's come on here's Alpaslan and he should have made it three again Katuchu's come on um, just to try and uh, sort of bring fresh legs on, really, to torment their their fullbacks a bit more. Femi charging forward now. 
Nice block. Nice block. Halluk, who's also come on for his debut. Here's Cutter Chu up against Kamal. And it's just going to go into the corner. Christoph clears it. Anil now looks to try and drive the hosts forward, but a great challenge. Ali Rizza, Chihan into the corner. Lovely ball in for Alpaslan. Back down for Chihan. Ali Rizza. Kutachu. Alpaslan. 3 0. That's got to be it, surely. That's his second. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal by Fenerbahce. What about that? Look at this football. This is stunning. Really, really nice football. Great little through ball. Alpaslan finishes. Powerful strike at the bottom corner. That's got to be three points now. And that is the perfect start to management life at Fernabache. Very, very happy. Very happy indeed now. I know we're the first team to play this season, so we do technically go top until everyone else plays. But you know what? That means everyone else has now got to start chasing us. Talking about pressure for winning the league, might as well set the pace from the start. So we've laid a marker down to everyone that we are, we do want to win the title. This is what we're going to do then. So we're one win closer already. Corner kick. Try not to do anything silly at this point. Just mark up. Good goalkeeping. We're only as far as bar. Cleared by Ali Rizza. And time ticking away now for the horse. Ali Rizza picks the ball up, clears it up towards Albaslan, who's been fantastic today, to be honest. Really, really excited by him. Uh, I think, to be honest, going forward, we look pretty deadly. Um, we've got some really, really nice passive movement. Um, so hopefully uh, this will improve. And of course, we're looking quite pretty quick as well, to be honest. So I think that whole um, sort of playing on the front foot really suits us. Here's Alpaslan, Katuchu, Mira. Even as we're coming towards injury time, we're still attacking, still attacking. Positive mentality's now been attacking for a while now. And we're not looking to sort of take our foot off the gas. Blow the wrestle if you want, ref. It's all over. Three points are in the bag. There you go. Our first victory as Fenerbahce manager. 3 0. Could have been four if, we, if that disallowed goal didn't count. Could have been five. If that penalty went in, yes, fine, we played 10 men, but still, you've got to get the results. You've got to get the results. You can only win what's put in front of you, and that's exactly what we've done. So 3-0, over the moon with that. Can't complain. Life at Fernabache has started in the best possible fashion. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hope you think that moving to Fenerbahce is a good idea. If you have enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. Leave a comment below as well. Uh, let me know how you think we're going to do this season. Uh, of course, we've got other videos on the channel. We've got the uh, the tier 10 save where our manager's Washington. Also, we stream on Twitch every Wednesday and Sunday where I've got a Peterborough save. Do come along and say hello there. But as I say, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back very, very soon with another video, another episode of the journeyman.